Hi everybody and welcome to Mother Cow Crochet. Finally, it's time for a crochet video. Uh, some days, no, it wasn't you. Some days ago, uh, Lena at Farmer's Farmer's Life, my sister, you know, um, she uh, had a competition, horse competition. Um, that she was going to attend uh, yesterday. Until that, she wanted to do a new sweater, an Icelandic, Icelandic sweater. So the crazy woman made it. It's I don't know how she made it because it's super much pattern. Uh, it's not just <laughs> dots of colors <laughs> it's a really nice pattern it's gorgeous uh, you just need to check it out it's super lovely so yesterday she was uh, posting on facebook and talking about her challenge doing this sweater and her friend also did a sweater a knitted sweater so I was thinking, oh yes, I would like to uh, just do that challenge, but I need to wait because yesterday I started a sweater uh, child version. It's for Jojo. It was actually for Bessie first, but it, it's going to be for Jojo because Bessie thought it was scratchy. It's wool, of course, but Jojo liked it, so it's for her. And then I talked to my sister and she said, oh, it's, it's fine. You can do whatever you want. You could do a small, a medium, a big, uh, child size, anything. Challenges, five days, one sweater. I started yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Oh, I started in the morning. I saw this uh, tutorial on YouTube. Uh, it was a tutorial of a poncho uh, and I was thinking perhaps I want a poncho. <laughs> I always say that I'm I'm too short and I'm too wide for a poncho. I look like a cube. <laughs> it isn't nice. Uh, but sometimes I really think that a poncho looks very lovely. So I was thinking, perhaps this time it won't look that short. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, I uh, it was an easy pattern. Uh, the title was Easy Poncho for Beginners or something. The thing is, when I saw her start the poncho with these stitches, I just thought, I would like to do that in a sweater not the v-stitch that wasn't the thing she was using it and it's not rocket science it's, it's not rocket science either but she was using a thread size three four three four i think it was and she was using an eight millimeter hook so I was just thinking, perhaps I should try upsizing my hook that much. I usually don't. I usually upsize it a couple of notches, but not that much. So, you know, my favorite wool yarn, my Ad Libre Soki. And this is, is it bright lavender or light lavender? Either... Oh, anyhow, it's lavender. 
uh, and this is for a hook size 5. And I took, I don't know if I have my hook yet, no, nope, probably not. I took a hook size 10 millimeters. And you know what? I did half double crochets and it is lovely. And I started up on the top, so now I'm in the challenge. I started up on the top with a lavender, moved over to Neon City Light, also um, a Libra Saki, and then I made the armholes and I've started on the lavender again and I'm currently on the arm. This is what I've done in one day. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to get it finished tonight because I have some other things to do too. But perhaps tomorrow. That means a sweater. Okay, it's a child sweater. It's for Jojo, and Jojo is 10 years. But in three days. <laughs> it's crazy, but I just love it. So I had to just put my cardigan just on the other side of the table and just do this. So I'm doing this tonight after I put the kids to sleep and after I've done the kitchen and you know, all the things we do, some laundry perhaps, uh, and then I'm doing this. So perhaps I'm going to get some sleep tonight because the kids have been sick. We've got this stomach flu going, oh. but I hope I'm going to get some sleep tonight. So until next time, just keep on hooking. Bye.